In this video, we're going to explore the various options you have for setting up your machine room. Let's get started! Feel free to create a project with these specifications. You can pause the video for this. First things first. Let's start with the basic settings for the machine room. You can select the machine room either through the breadcrumb window or directly in the drawing area in design mode. Remember, the machine room is a child object of the shaft. Within the properties, you can set the dimensions of the machine room to fit your needs. For positioning the machine room vertically, enter a value and Z0 under location. But that's not all. You can also adjust its position in the X and Y directions. This allows you to place the machine room independently from the shaft. Just enter desired values in X0 and Y0. Now, let's explore the option to switch from a machine room to a machine room-less hydraulic elevator. In the properties, set the machine room-less mode to yes. When you do this, the machine room components are automatically moved to the shaft pit. You may need to adjust the pit height in the group and shaft configurator. Additionally, you can delete or reposition these components using the corresponding dimensions and component properties. Here's a tip. For wall-related components, you can quickly reposition them by holding down the left mouse button and dragging them to the desired spot. Even in MRL mode, the machine room remains a child object of the shaft and can be re-edited whenever necessary. Congratulations! You've successfully completed the playlist and reached the next level of proficiency. If you have any further questions or need additional assistance, feel free to reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching!